Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, May 28th. I'm James Spann. The weather pretty unsettled uh, for the next few days. Very moist air. This upper low in progress west of the state. So we'll be wet at times. Let's take a look at that upper low. Very well defined early this morning over the northeastern part of Texas. And that will be drifting slowly to the east. And with time, that will weaken and lose its identity and lift out. But... In the short term, it certainly will affect our weather. That was a radar early this morning at 5.07. And you can see it was raining over the northwestern corner of the state. Uh, that rain extends back into uh, northeastern Mississippi. And we'll expect to see rain coverage increasing really statewide uh, later today and tonight. West of the state, flash flood watches for much of central and south Mississippi, the southern half of Louisiana and southeastern Texas. Looks like uh, some of the counties just below Houston under a flash flood warning early this morning. Also, some risk of severe weather down over south Louisiana today. In fact, as I do this update at 5.30, there's a, a tornado warning for St. John the Baptist Parish, which is just west of New Orleans. Then tomorrow, just a couple of 5% areas and scattered pockets, no formal severe weather risks. This is the rain for the next five days. This carries us through Monday morning of next week at 7 o'clock. Really big numbers on the uh, central Gulf Coast, a little southwest of here. Uh, you can see the five-inch circle covers New Orleans, Baton Rouge, over toward the southwestern tip of Alabama. The four-inch circle goes over to Mobile, and then potential for three inches over to Gulf Shores and Orange Beach. And if you're beachbound, it's not going to rain the whole time down there, but clearly there will be some storms to dodge over the next three days or so. Take a look at modeling. This is the GFS, the Global Forecast System, valid at uh, 1 o'clock local time this afternoon. This is the OZ run at 500 millibars. You can see the upper low near Shreveport. And down below that, we'll expect scattered to numerous showers and storms today. This way the high-res NAM looks tonight at 8 o'clock. Looks pretty wet, especially over the western half of the state. And clearly the heavier rain total should be on the west, western side of the state, but no doubt if you're in East Alabama, you'd see, you, you should see some rain at times as well. Tomorrow, again, a very soupy, moist air mass. Scattered to numerous showers and storms. Not going to rain all day, but it's going to rain on us at times. That's tomorrow evening at 7 o'clock off the high res NAM. And then Friday, that upper feature will be lifting out and, and losing its identity. So Friday... The showers might decrease a little bit, but still, it's a very moist air mass. So again, uh, I think we'll mention scattered to numerous showers and storms. Now, this is Saturday. The weather kind of getting back to normal for the end of May and the 1st of June. We'll kind of revert back to the scattered, mostly afternoon and evening shower and storm type situation with a partly sunny sky. And the same thing for Sunday. A mix of sun and clouds, scattered showers and storms. The better chance will come during the afternoon and evening. Monday of next week, you can see uh, an upper high over Florida, kind of nosing in here, big troughing the western states. And for us, again, a kind of a moist axis on the western side of the state. So still the chance of scattered showers and storms, especially from I-65 west. And then Tuesday looks a little drier as the upper high begins to build in. Highs pushing up toward 90 and the showers becoming fewer in number. And Wednesday of next week, again, a uh, few spots could see a storm with the sun out at times. And we note down to the south a little mischief around the Yucatan. And the GFS has been very persistent in this idea. Now, this is June 9th. This run is a lot slower than recent runs. It's got a tropical storm in the Gulf. And then on June the 10th, that thing comes inland around Apalachicola. And again, if this happens to be correct, the big rains would be east of Alabama, the heavier rains along and east of the landfall point. But again, the, the consistency is pretty good here. It's, I think the GFS is trying to tell us something. 
And then the end of the forecast on June the 12th, 591 heat bubble around El Paso. Westerly is a little north of here, and if that's right, the weather would be just pretty much hot and dry. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can catch us this evening on the live stream or the television side, ABC 3340 News at 456 and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.